Well, hello and welcome. Uh, this is Jeff Hooks. It is uh, Saturday, February 9th, 2019. And this is a special quick start training uh, entitled The Art of the Start. And, uh, you know, we do, a, we do a live quick start training, as you know, every single Saturday. We cover the fundamental principles of building a VNI business, uh, whether your goals are small, whether your goals are large, uh, or anything in between. Uh, we want to provide a platform, um, and this, this, this weekly training is one piece of the puzzle, but we want to provide a platform that equips and empowers you to spread your wings and reach your goals, uh, whatever your vision is for your VNI business. And, um, and so, with that being said, I just want to I want to jump into uh, a couple of opening comments. Um, there's really two types of businesses that you and your team can build with with VNI. Two types of businesses, and let me explain that. The first, and and by the way, both are wonderful. Both are uh, involved. But both um, expand our mission of taking these amazing products. Uh, to a, a world that needs them. Um, both approaches are noble. Both approaches expand our mission. Both approaches are blessing people um, by uh, helping them with their physical health with, with these amazing products. So, so there's, but there's two strategies. Um, one is building a, simply building a customer base. And with some of the announcements that are forthcoming uh, over the next couple of weeks, we want you to understand that, that uh, 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 there has never been a better time to build a customer base with, with VNI. In fact, we are enhancing our customer acquisition model significantly where someone can go out literally and not build partners, not build a team, build just a customer base. And over the course, depending on how hard someone wants to work and, and how long they, how much time they want to put into it, you could literally build a customer base that rewards you uh, with one, two, three, four thousand a month recurring income or more um, just on customers. And so, so keep in mind, customers are individuals, part of our, the VNI family that are simply enjoying the health benefits of these products. Uh, in other words, they have no desire to create a cash flow. They have no desire to participate in the compensation plan, even by referring people. Um, <clears throat> and if they do refer people, they, they aren't looking for thank you checks. And that's fine. A partner, so that's a customer. A partner is an individual, um, uh, um, uh, he or she has a desire at some level to create a cash flow, to participate in the VNI compensation plan. So you've got customers and partners, and both are wonderful. Both consume the product. Our customers are enjoying the products every day. Our partners are consuming and enjoying the products every day, except they also want to build a customer base. Okay, so there's, there's two ways to build a business. You can build a business and just create a customer base, which is great, and you can do very well. We've got a number of very important partners that that wonderful partners that have have created a very nice cash flow just off of a customer base but in addition to that the second way to build a business is you build a customer base but also you assemble a team of partners that are also building a customer base so you're building a distribution team made up of both customers and partners customers are just enjoying the product Partners are enjoying the product and building a customer base and a team. Does that make sense? Both are wonderful ways to build a business, just but in full disclosure, for those that want to create a significant cash flow, I'm a big fan of the second option. Build a customer base, but also recognize that there are a lot of men and women that you know that are all across the United States and Canada uh, and around the world that are interested in creating an additional cash flow. They're interested in supplementing their income, paying off debt, children's education, grandchildren's education, et cetera. So with that in mind, what we talk about on our Saturday, and I pardon the little blinking, the sun's coming in and out of clouds behind me and I can't, I can't control that. Um, we know this is gonna be a big training because of, of a couple of the challenges that we've had, but all is well. All right, so keep in mind that when you're building a team, okay, when you're building a team, what you do is important, all right? We often, every single Saturday, we talk about the importance of leading by example, okay? When you build and grow your business, well done is better than well said, 
well done is better than well said. Okay. So, so what you do is very, very important because it sets the tone. And, and we talk about leadership by example. If, 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 if you know, leadership is, with authenticity, effective leadership is coaching your team to do the things that you're doing. Now, someone, uh, anything other than that is not leadership. Anything other than that, candidly, is pretending. It's fraud. <laughs> it's manipulation. In other words, if, if, if we're telling our people, our team, to do, the, do things that we're not willing to do ourselves, th there's, no, there's, no, there's no power in that. There's no authenticity. There's there's no um, effectiveness in that. That's not leadership. So, so what we do is very important. What's more important in the big picture, what we do sets the tone, but what we duplicate, okay, if you're taking notes, write that down. Do leading to duplicate, okay? What we do is important because that sets the tone. It's the building block. So we want to be very intentional about leading by example. But ultimately, it's what we duplicate. It's, it's teaching our people to do what we're doing. That's what creates a, an extraordinary business over time with Victory Nutrition International. It's the, it's the concept of duplication. Okay? Now, we're, we're, that, that's going to provide kind of the, the theme for our entire training today. So what we do is important. But it's important mainly because it becomes the, the building block for what we duplicate, okay? Meaning that over time, we're gonna have a team of men and women that have their own vision, their own goals of, of, of taking these products uh, to market and blessing people with our, our mission of helping people become beacons of health, hope, and abundance. They've got their own goals, they've got their own vision, but we've taught them to do, you've taught them to do what you do, so you've duplicated yourself. So all of a sudden now, you've got a team of individuals who are sharing the product. We call that the pattern of activity, inviting people to learn about VNI, sharing the information and following up. Invite, share, follow up, okay? So that sets the tone. What we do is important. What we duplicate, that's the key to the vault. That's where, that's where the, 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 the big upside potential is, creating duplication in, in your organization, where over time, your people are doing what you're doing, but they're doing far more of it because you've assembled a team. You've duplicated yourself. You've got leaders and emerging leaders that are all building their own customer base that are out there building and growing their business. Okay, so that's, that's the key. Now, I want to share a few words that are going to provide the context. Now, today's training, again, is, is the art of the start. So what I mean by that is, and what we mean by that is, how are you start when you have a partner that joins your team? Okay, a man or woman that, that, that wants to roll up their sleeves and help us spread this mission, the VNI mission, around the U.S. and Canada, okay, and around the world as we move forward. Okay, so not when you have a customer. When you have a customer, that's awesome. Anytime you've added a customer, you've added value, you've added equity to your business, um, you, you, you've, you place their product order, you set them up hopefully on a subscription, you follow up with them to make sure when the product order, when the product comes in, that they start taking the product immediately and you help them, you know, make sure they have the protocol down. So if they're taking ProDivide and Brain Reward, tell them, you know, take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. If they've got their Enzorb, they're taking Enzorb um, at night, you know, right before they go to bed. So just, just encourage the customers, stay close to them and ask for referrals. Okay, so that's pretty simple. There's, there's no onboarding when you have a customer. There's, you wanna follow up, follow through, make sure you encourage them to continue to take the product every day, ask for referrals, et cetera, very simple. What we're talking about, again, is building a team of partners that are also gonna build a customer base and, and build a team of partners, okay? Building a distribution business, distributing these amazing products that can't be found anywhere else in the world. So I want to give you a few words that will, that will provide the context to, again, the art of the start. Okay, in fact, let me back up half a step. So when you sponsor a new partner, a rhetorical question, obviously, when you have a new partner join your team, do you have a model, a plan for helping that new partner launch his or her business? That's a question. Do you have it? Do you have a written down 
systematic model that, that when someone joins your business today and they, they, they as a partner, do you, do you start them off the same way as you start somebody that joins your team next week? Okay. And have you taught your team a, a consistent plan that duplicates so that your onboarding process, you know, your onboarding process for new partners is consistent. Your onboarding process is pro a proven model that's very intentional. Think about that. Or do you do what I've done, what I did a few decades ago, where I, I was inconsistent. I, I just kind of winged it, you know. And, and um, as a result, I wasn't consistent in my onboarding. And, and, and that showed in, the, in a lack of duplication because I, I wasn't being consistent. How can you duplicate something when you never do it the same way twice? Okay, I'm gonna, there's a, that's a profound thought. It's not original to me. How can you duplicate something if you never do, the, do, do things the same way twice? That's why when we're, when we're doing our Thursday night Zoom presentation, we don't change that PowerPoint every week. Okay, consistency creates momentum. Consistency also creates a foundation for duplication. Could you imagine if we changed the presentation every single Thursday and, and we edited it and tweaked it and moved things around? Okay, what the parents do in moderation, the children do in excess. Well, if you do that, your team's gonna do that. Okay, we duplicate ourselves whether we intend to or not. So I guess my main point is we wanna make sure we're duplicating the right fundamentals, okay? We're consistent with that presentation. It's the, 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 the company product mission. I mean, we, that presentation covers it all. And, and we don't monkey around with it every single week. Because if we did that, everybody else is going to do it and there's no consistency. We can't create positive duplication. We can't create effective duplication if we don't do the same thing the same way two times in a row. Okay. So, so back to when, when you have a new partner that joins your team, what do you do with them? What do you do to set them up for success? What do you do to give them a track to run on? Okay, that's what today's training is about. The art of the start, helping your new partners get off to a good start. And like anything, you've got get with your upline success coaches, take what I share today and take what you like, discard the rest but you got to have a plan. That's what I implore you. You got to have a plan for onboarding new partners that's consistent. You lead by example, you do, and you duplicate. Okay. Now here's three words that are going to help you. Learn, apply, teach. Okay. When you think about, it, even if you're brand new, you think about launching and building your VNI business. Okay, first there's learning. You're going to learn some of the basic fundamentals. That's why we're here. We learn from each other. We learn from the, the, the various leaders that have built a business, that have done what you want to do. Now, you learn the basics, but you really don't learn them until you take action. That's where you, until you apply what you've learned. Okay, that's what some people say wisdom is applied knowledge. All right, so, so you learn, apply, you take action, you implement what you've learned. You're not going to be perfect. We always talk about progress, not perfection, but you're going to, you know, action and adjustment, action and adjustment. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. The more you do it, the more confidence you're going to have. The more you do it, the more competence you're going to have. And it creates this upward spiral of growth. Okay, does that make sense? Now, learn, apply, teach. Then you're going to teach others what you've learned and what you've done. That's the cycle of duplication. Learn, apply, and teach. Now, I want to give you, I want to give you four words that will help you provide context, and at least it's helped me over the years, in terms of keeping you on track when you're teaching a new partner. Okay? I'm going to give you four words. I'm going to, walk, I'm going to share them with you, then I'll come back. Number one, so if you're, if you're taking notes, you can say learn, apply, teach, and then under teach, have an arrow and have these four words. Explain, obviously E-X-P-L-A-I-N, explain, demonstrate, shadow, and duplicate. Oh, I'm sorry, no, uh, better than duplicate, delegate. Delegate's even better than duplicate. 
Okay. Explain, demonstrate, shadow, delegate. All right. These are just, these are, these are, these are words that'll help you internalize the principles and get through the learning curve much faster. So we've talked about learn, apply, teach. You learn the fundamentals of the business. Some of you are brand new. That's why you're here. You, you get with your upline success coaches. You learn how to invite people to look at VNI. You learn how to use the tools to share the information and you learn how to follow up. Invite, share, follow up. You apply what you've learned. That's where you really, you know, you, you take the action and then you teach others to do the same. Learn, apply, and teach. In the teaching process, there's explaining. That's where you, you explain some of the fundamentals of the business. It's not something you do the first day a partner joins you, although you do, but it's ongoing. You know, you're explaining the fundamentals as you're helping them get through the learning curve. Then you demonstrate, okay? Demonstrate. That means you're doing the business while they watch you. That Think of it as on-the-job training, okay? And that's what we do every single Thursday night. When we have leaders, this past Thursday night, we had our founder and CEO, Mr. Bill Downs, walk through the company and the mission and the product and the science. Folks, you could be brand new. All you had to do was invite five or six people or one or two people or the more the merrier, and you've got our founder and CEO and yours truly walking through the presentation. That's on-the-job training. You're learning while you're doing, if you had a, a guest, if you had a prospect on that presentation. Okay, so explain, demonstrate, shadow. Shadow means at some point, as you're developing your new partner, you give them the ball, okay? You give them the ball. Let them lead part of the presentation or let them lead part of the discussion. It could be a three-way call. It could be a Zoom presentation. It could be at a coffee shop or a hotel lobby, but they're, they, don't, they might not be doing everything, but they're walking through, they're doing some of the presentation, they're doing some of the leading of the presentation, but guess what? You're right there, you're shadowing the conversation so that you're there when, when your partner needs your help. And then finally, over time, keywords, over time, and everybody goes at their own pace, you, de you, you delegate, you've, you've duplicated yourself where you've got a, you've got a leader, you've got an emerging leader that's part of your team that, that literally can do the business as good or better than you. And that's where you want to go. That's where you want to. So learn, apply and teach. And then under teach, think about the process, explain, demonstrate, shadow and delegate. Now this is a little bit more of a leadership training, but I want to say this for some of you leaders, don't get stuck at the demonstrate. Explain, demonstrate, shadow, duplicate. What happens, uh, unfortunately, a lot of well-meaning leaders in this business, um, they, they keep doing things for their team. They keep doing it. They keep demonstrating instead of giving them the ball. And what happens is over time, you've got an organization of a bunch of people, wonderful people, that are completely dependent on you to do the business. That's not going to work. You're, what'll happen is you'll grow to a certain point and you'll plateau, maybe even contract because you're only one person. The key is do leads to duplicate. We want to duplicate ourselves. We want to equip and empower other partners to do the business as now that doesn't mean we're not there to help them, but they're not dependent on you to do everything. Um, if you've got a partner that's been in the business that literally has a desire to build a business and they've been in the business more than a couple of weeks and they don't know how to get in their back office. Okay. That's, that's a clue. All right. With all due respect, that's a clue that you're babysitting your, your, your baby and your people instead of developing leadership out of your people. We love and care about our team. We're always there to support them, but your not, your job is not to do things for them that they're capable of doing themselves. If you do that, you're going to cap your business and it's not going to keep growing. We want to help you create duplication. So explain, demonstrate. If you're stuck at demonstrate where you're doing everything, start to work on, and don't do it all at once, but give your team the ball. Have them lead a presentation. Have them lead a call. Have them lead a training with your team, or at least part of a training. Have them share a story on a conference call. Have them get out of their comfort zone. Okay, so those, those words will help give you the context. Now, real quick, I wanna jump into the, the meat of what we're doing. One of the keys, I'm gonna give you a suggested new partner checklist. 
Okay, so what does that mean? That means when, a, when, a, when a, you have a new partner join your team that wants to create a cash flow, I'm going to give you, you, you a, suge a suggested checklist. And you can edit this with your upline success coaches however you choose. These are fundamentals that have worked for me over three decades. Um, and these are fundamental principles that have effectively helped me build an organization of tens of thousands of customers uh, on subscription um, all around the world. And, and my peak organization had 70,000 active subscriptions in 40 countries. Okay, so the idea is take this checklist that I'm giving you, take what you like, tweak it, keep it simple, but get with your upline success coaches and then duplicate with consistency. Again, if, 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 we, if we never do, say it, say it a little bit differently, if we never do the same thing the same way twice, if we never do something the same way twice, there's no way to create duplication. People are, because we're always changing, we're always changing. We wanna be consistent. Do leading to duplicate, okay? Now, new member checklist. First and foremost, keep in mind your responsibility when you, when you launch a new partner, when you have a new partner join your team. Your responsibility is really threefold. Okay, this is kind of high level. Your responsibility, number one, is to help them decide what they want. What do they want out of their VI business? Okay, the, the why, the dream, the vision. All right. Number two, you want to equip them with some basic training. You want to equip them with some, some fundamental training. And number three, you want to lead them into action. Okay, that's the pattern of activity, sharing these amazing products with new people on a consistent basis, sharing the products and the business. If they're open, if they're looking for a new, uh, an idea of how to create a cash flow, how to maybe be their own boss, how to take some pressure off financially in their lives. Folks, don't shy away from the fact that we have a very lucrative business model with VNI. We're very proud of that. We've got, I mean, look, we have, the reason we have a lucrative business model is because the amazing intellectual property that Bill Downs and Steve Kushner and, and our scientific advisory board in different ways have contributed towards. We've got amazing products. And because we've got amazing products, we have a business model that we're very proud of. So we have an opportunity to bless people physically with these products, physical wellness, and financially with this business model, financial wellness. And at the end of the day, we're looking for people that are looking better health physically, better health financially. So it's a sorting process like we've talked about in the past. So help them decide what they want, plug them into some key fundamental training, and then lead them into action. Okay, we don't want people to stay what I call eternal student syndrome where they're in a constant state of learning, 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 a constant state of just preparation without getting into the game. Okay, one of the things that you need to do as the sponsoring partner is take your new partner, take, take him or her by the hand, and, and with confidence say, look, we're going to do this. You can do this. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you every step of the way. You can do this, and I'm going to help you. And, and you lead them into action. You get them off the bench and get them into the game, okay? And the more they do it, the more they get out of the comfort zone, the more they're going to realize, you know what? This, I can do this. This is, this is all about using the products, sharing the products, and teaching others to do the same. This is, I can do this, okay? It's not that complicated. What gets complicated is the fear, the doubt, and the hesitation that's in our brain. And so your job as a sponsor and with your, with your upline success coaches as a team is to help lead that person into activity and initially, it's just, hey, look, you, make, you, you put people in front of me. You provide the presentation, I'll provide you. I mean, you provide the people, I'll provide the presentation. Uh, you provide the people, we'll provide the presentation Thursday night on our 9 o'clock Zoom presentations every, every week. Um, so so that, that's kind of the idea, the, the, the areas of responsibility when you're, when you're onboarding a new, por a, a new partner. Now, here's the checklist. Number one, very simple help the new partner place their product order, their initial product order. And I will tell you, our, our, our builder pack sales are continuing to, to be steady and increasing, particularly in certain organizations. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the Ken Nasmith's organization has really embraced the, the value for partners coming on board with, with the builder packs, the basic, the promoter, and the share and grow. Others of you have as well, 
but consistently um, over 80% of the new partners that join Ken's organization uh, over the last four months have started with one of the packs. And folks say, you wanna share those packs. We've got deep discounts. We've got discounts off of product, free expedited shipping. Folks, that's the value when it's a one-time order. And when you, when you start at the, at the share and grow pack level, you're positioned at, you know, as you, you get your position in the compensation plan at, to, to leave no money on the table. So you can get off to a faster start. So that's uh, your position as an executive manager for six months. So, so think about that. So number one, now, by the way, if a partner doesn't want to get started with a pack for whatever reason, that's fine. That's, hey, no worries. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. But folks, the, what we're finding is that a lot of people are not starting with packs because the partners aren't walking them through the packs. And folks, we've got marketing slicks that give you the, the a picture of all the product and all the discount, the savings, the free product, the free samples, the marketing tools that's in each of the packs. It's all right there for you. So no excuses, no excuses. Take responsibility for your business. And then when you've got a partner that's coming on board, at least, at least let them know about the basic the promoter and the share and grow pack options that we created, the marketing team created with the input of field leadership to help you and help that new partner get off to a great start. They've got product to use, product to share, okay? So, so number one, place the product order. Make sure you're letting them know about the packs, okay? And set up the monthly subscription. Okay, that's not, on your new partner checklist, that's number one. Place product order. Don't forget the packs and set up the monthly subscription. Okay, that's number one. Number two, give your new partner homework, okay, based on his or her goals, homework, all right? The homework is really in three areas. Um, number one, have them memorialize. So it doesn't have to be a deep dive. Some people give, give structured you know, questions, which is fine, but I like to keep it simple. But basically, if you're, if you bring me on as a partner in your organization, you say, Jeff, here's the deal. I'm going to send you home with some homework. Number one, I want you to write down what it is you want out of your VNI business over the next several years. What is it you want? You know, and you can ask this several different ways. If we were to have coffee three years from today, what would need to happen in your VNI business in order for you to be pleased with your progress? Okay. That's, you know, that's a good question. I usually pick three years. You can go longer, you can go shorter, but, but that's a good starting point. Again, this is just the starting point of, of the conversation. So the homework is Jeff, I'm the new partner that you've just, that's just joined your team. Checklist number one, place my product order. I place my pack order, hopefully because of the value to me, discounted product, free expedited shipping, etc. Now, You've set up my subscription. And then number two, my homework. Write down the, the vision, the dream that I have for my business. Why am I building this business? And what do I want, want out of it? That's homework assignment number one. Homework assignment, assignment number two is start my contact list. You know, the who do you know list. I love what, what uh, Gina and Ed Bender always talk about. They say start with, you know, your contacts in your phone. Don't prejudge. Just brainstorm people you know, people you do business with your dentist, your, your dry cleaner, high school friends, college friends, neighbors, church friends, just, just brainstorm. Don't, 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 pre, don't prejudge. Don't, don't prioritize. Just start, get to work on the contact list. That's, that's your, who do you know list? And number three, plug into a quick start training. Okay. Now we've got the quick start trainings recorded. Now here's the key. I, what we're going to do, well, I'll come back to that. All right. So no, let me say this. When, when you sponsor me today, I like to schedule, and this is actually step number three, the strategy session. Okay, the strategy session is when you review the homework. Okay, and personally, in my experience, you want to schedule that strategy session within 48 to 72 hours, if at all possible. Within 48 to 72 hours of you sponsoring me, we need to be on the phone, on a Zoom, or in person having the strategy session. And in the strategy session, you go through my homework, my why. Okay. Remember no step two, you gave me my homework, my why, my contact list. And my homework was to, was to review a quick start training. Now I want to show, I'm going to do a quick screen share because folks, I'm amazed. We got to do, we just straightforward. We're all, we're all a team here. 
we got to do a better job of teaching our people where the resources are. Okay, everybody that joins as a partner gets a, a marketing website. Folks, I can't even tell you how many calls I'm having every day where our, our partners don't have a clue what's on their website. Okay, so you, again, you know, we've got to duplicate the right behavior. Take a few minutes and coach your team on the resources. This is, this is part of what we're doing. But specifically related to the quick start trainings, let, let your partner know, hey, this is, the, this is the marketing website. When someone goes to your website, vni.life forward slash username, it's all product retail customer centric. To get to the business information, Jeff, new partner, you click on partner site. Okay, when you click on partner site, all right, there, there's the information on our, um, the, the VNI Empower Conference 2019 coming up in early May. That's actually a picture of the, the, the atrium area and the property. Um, beautiful, beautiful property. So all that information is there. Now, when you look at news, see where my, my cursor is. Look at where the news section is. All right, you click on news. <clears throat> Excuse me, you click on news. You scroll down. These are all the top announcements. If you wanna, you, we always talk about stay plugged in and do something positive every day. Folks, stay plugged into your news feed. Check it at least every few days, at least. There's information on the annual conference. There's information on the new immunity pack. There's information on uh, the or how to earn your trip, the Go Envoy trip that Ed and Gina enjoyed in, in January, all expense paid dream trip. There's information on the subscription rewards program. Very simple, it's all right there. Now, if you wanna go, you, what you wanna do is go down to the quick start, look right here, quick start training or, uh, replay archive, okay? Click on that. <clears throat> this is every training, folks, every training that we've had. Last Saturday, Saturday before, Ed and Gina did a phenomenal training. From day one, the week before that. And I want to, I want to, folks, all these training, I will tell you some of, um, I know some of our leaders give their new partners that want to build a business a homework assignment. And that homework assignment is to, watch at least two quick start trainings a week for their first four weeks. Okay. So they're kind of getting through that learning curve and they're taking notes. That's a great, that's a great plan. Okay. But I want to share with you um, the fundamental trainings that I would use all these trainings that your, your team over time needs to plug into these trainings. But I will share with you the power of a plan is a phenomenal one as well. But learn the secret of part time from December first. This this training right here. Okay, learn the secret of part time. All you do is click right here, and it's the replay. I'm not going to take the time to do that. So the, the December one training, learn the secret of part time, and then from day one, right here. Those are two trainings that are designed to take brand new partners and teach them the fundamentals. Now, if they will, in addition to that, they need to hear some different voices. They need to plug in and hear Ed and Gina. They need to plug in and hear, uh, if you go back through the archive, you've got Dwight Halstead, you've got TJ Dillingham, you've got Ken Nasmith, you've got, I mean, you, they, they need to plug into this content. But in order to plug into the content, they need to know where it is. So it's right there in the news feed. And then they scroll down and the archive is right there. I can't tell you, and I'm not fussing, this is all, this is all teamwork. I can't tell you, I'm gonna stop my screen share, um, how many wonderful new partners in our, in our business have no clue where the, the replays are, okay? So, so we gotta teach, we gotta slow down, we gotta equip our people and teach them where the information is. Doesn't do us any good if all the resources are there. I've shared this in the past, a tool is only as good as our application of that tool. You know, <clears throat> if you've got a toolbox with a hammer and, and a special, special bladed saws, all this fancy equipment sitting on the side and nobody knows it's there, it's not going to build anything. You put that in the hand of somebody that, that, that a man or woman that knows what they're doing, they can take those tools and, 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 and build a house, literally. Okay, so our business is no different. We can have the tools, but if nobody knows they're there, nothing's getting built.
All right, so that's your responsibility as a sponsoring partner to take your new partner by the hand over time and show them the, where, where the resources are. Okay, so back to the checklist. Number one, hopefully you're taking notes, place product order, set up subscription. Number two, give your new partner back in that role play, that's me, give me my homework assignment. What's your why? Work on your contact list and plug into a quick start training at least one before we do a strategy session, okay? Number three is you schedule that strategy session, okay? Preferably that strategy session is with me as I'm, I'm the new partner, so we schedule it within 48 to 72 hours, as I've mentioned, okay? 48 to 72 hours is the goal. Is that always possible? I'm making a note here. Uh, no, it's not. It's not always possible. But if you can do it, the, the sooner the better, because what will happen is a lot of times, you have a new partner that's excited, they're ready to go, and all of a sudden, life gets in the way, and a few days goes by, and, and maybe a week goes by, or two weeks goes by, and, and all of a sudden, before you've gotten back with them, they've forgotten why they were excited. You know, life gets in the way. They've had their job, they've had their, you know, family responsibilities and everything else. So you wanna keep that momentum when a new partner first engages, and schedule that strategy session, if possible, within 48 to 72 hours. 48 hours was always my target when I was building a, a business. Always, I, I shot for 48 hours because that way you can create some forward progress. Now, when you have that strategy session, you want that strategy session to be preferably with an executive manager or above. Okay, executive manager or above. So if I'm brand new, if you're brand new and you sponsor me as a partner, you have an executive manager or above in your upline success team. If you don't know who they are, call customer care and they'll, and they'll help you find it. And so an executive manager or above that's engaged and excited and building their business. Okay. Uh, that the cause you need to have that resource. You need to know who your support team is that you can count on. And then the, the, the strategy session can be in person. If you're all local, I love doing them in person over a cup of coffee if possible in a hotel lobby, but it can be on the phone. Or it can be on a Zoom. Doesn't matter. Beautiful. Flex the whole model is flexible. So you can onboard a new partner all the way across the country. And your upline coach, executive manager above that's going to lead the strategy session with you. Remember, we talked about explain, demonstrate, shadow, delegate. That's this is part of what that process is. And we're going to go deeper on this in the future. But it could be that they could be in Canada, you could be on the East Coast, and your new partner could be on the West Coast, and you can do it all over the phone or over a Zoom. So there's a very simple, no excuses, all good. Now, <clears throat> when you have that strategy session, first thing you wanna do is review the product usage of your new partner. That's the building block. Use the products every day. That's the building block of our model. And so if, if, if you're having that appointment within 24 to 48 hours, you might say to yourself, well, their shipment probably hasn't come yet, even though if they order a pack, it's expedited shipping. What I like to do if I'm building local is if, if, if I, when I sponsor a new partner, I'm going to send them home with some product. Okay. I call it place and replace. I'm going to send them home with some product because when you've got an excited new partner or customer, when do you, when do they, when do you, when do you, when do they want to start taking the product? Of course, the answer is immediately. When do you want them to start taking the product? And of course, the answer is immediately. So if possible, when it's possible, it's not always possible, but, but when dealing locally, if you've got a little bit of extra product, send them home with product, and when their shipment comes in, they swap it back, uh, swap it back out with you to make you whole. Okay, but, but back when you start that strategy session, you want to review their product usage. You want to make sure to see if they have any questions. Um, if they're, you know, if, if, as you know, if they're, if they're stomach, if they, if they, if they're, if they've got anaerobic challenges in their, their gut, bad bacteria like I had, you know, the protovites is, is going gonna, is gonna, to maybe for a day or two, they might feel a little bit queasy. That's okay. You got to coach them through that. That's because they need the product. Okay. So the, the, the protovites addressing that, that, that bad bacteria in the gut. And so you don't want to have somebody stop taking the product and try to build a business when they're not taking the product because they thought something was wrong because their stomach got upset once or twice. 
Okay, so those are the key. You got to check in and, and the leadership, you know what I'm talking about. This is all good stuff, but our bodies are all out of balance. Our digestive systems are out of balance as a society and it takes a little time. You start getting on these products. Um, there's a detox function sometimes. And so you want to just be very, very straightforward and, and say, hey, let's review your product usage. You've been taking the product every day. How's that going? When are you taking it? Okay, that's number one. Now, in the strategy session. Next, review their, their why, their dream. And I'm going to have to speed up a little bit, but you get the idea. Next, review their contact list. So you're basically going through the homework. This is so important, folks. As a leader, when you're leading a strategy session, take notes. Take notes. Have the name of your, of your partner written down. Have a file on them, however you stay organized. Write down what, they're, they're, what they've said their dream is. You need to know your people's dream. Because as a leader, how can you help your team or your, one of your partners get where they want to go if you don't know where they want to go, right? So, so, so write down uh, and take notes when you're having a strategy session with one of your partners. Then review their contact list, okay? And remind them that we don't prejudge, but now you're going to prioritize. And what I used to do is I would say, okay, now let's create top 20, let's just prioritize top 20 product prospects. These are individuals that are health conscious. Maybe they eat organic. They're big into health and nutrition. They're big into fitness. Or maybe it's somebody that's got some health challenges. And their goal going into 2019, for example, is to, is to improve their vitality and their health and wellness. But create a top 20 list for, for product approach. People you're going to that that you think, again, you never know but your instincts tell you based on what you know, they're going to be excited about the, the VNI product, I think. And then you create a top 20 business prospect list out of that contact list. And these are people, different criteria. These are entrepreneurial individuals, people that are self starters, people that like to make money, people that, that, um, that uh, uh, have launched businesses before somebody, maybe that's what I call a dissatisfied successful. They do well, but they don't particularly enjoy their job or what they do for a living. And there's other criteria that your upline success coaches can share as well. But you basically prioritize as a starting point. You take that initial contact list, which you're going to continue to add to every day, every week, every month for the rest of your career with V&I. But then you prioritize them down to two top 20 lists. Okay. Then finally, the last piece of the puzzle for the, uh, <clears throat> for the uh, um, strategy session is review the marketing website with your new partner, take, take 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be a deep dive. Just get it, just get started. Have them, you know, again, have them walk through it, have a laptop, or if you're over the phone and just walk them through, get them used to some of the basic functionality of the website and some of the marketing tools, walk them through the weekly calendar with our Thursday night zoom presentations, right? And our Saturday 11 AM quick start trainings. Make sure they know where the recordings are, which they should already know by now, um, because if they did their homework, and then, and, then, and then you're good to go. Now, number four, and I typically do this at the strategy session, but I'm, I'm gonna say it deserves its own number. So number one is place the product order. This is the new partner checklist. Place the product order, set up your subscription. Number two, new partner homework, okay? The why, the contact list, the quick start training. Number three, schedule a strategy session within 48 to 72 hours. Number four, set a goal. Help that new partner set a goal. And typically the start, set a goal for when do you wanna go manager, okay? When do you wanna go manager and set, put a date to it. I wanna be manager by the end of February. I wanna be manager by March 15th, whatever it is. Set a goal, write it down. Both of y'all sign it and initial it if you're there in person, okay? Number five, create an activity plan to accomplish that goal. The activity plan, folks, I'm a big believer in simple. Okay, simple. The activity plan might be as simple as this. I'm going to share V&I with five people a week, every week for the rest of this year. Or it might be, in addition to that, it might be I'm going to have one guest or two guests on the Thursday night Zoom presentation every single week. Okay, maybe that's the plan. All right, but create an activity plan. I'm going to I'm going to attend, and I usually have it: your exposure activity, your events that you're going to plug into with guests and trainings. That's it. 
okay? That's number five, create an activity plan to help you achieve that goal. Number six, get into action. And folks, this is the key, get into action. Um, I love to challenge when you've, got a, when you've got a partner that's ready to go, that's excited, here's what I've, I've done in the past. And again, take what you like, discard the rest. You've got the contact list, you've got the top 20, top 20 lists that you've prioritized. And again, it's still a sorting process, you never know. But we don't want that new partner to be scared to make that call. It's pretty easy. We're inviting people to learn about VNI. We're sharing some information. That's it. Some, we're looking for people that are looking. So it's, it's, we want that, you want that partner to lead them into action and help them realize it's not a big deal. Okay. Um, and, and so what I used to do is I would challenge my new partner. You know what? Let's do the invite share with at least five people on your contact list in the next 24 hours. And sometimes I would make phone calls right then. And I know Gina Bender does that. Gina and Ed do that. And many of you do that. I don't want to leave anybody out. I think Cynthia Sauer does it. I think Lisa probably does it. There's many of you that do that. But that's an awesome way to take that new partner by the hand and lead them into action. But set a goal. It could be, it could be whatever you want. Let's invite and share with two people on your contact list in the next 24 hours. I used to like five because sometimes you're going to get voicemails. But, um, you know, Five people within 24 hours, 10 people within 48 hours, whatever it is, but set a plan to get into action. Another thing that you might want to consider is, and a lot of leaders do this, Ken Nasmus does this, is schedule a launch event. <clears throat> schedule a launch event. So you've got your new partner and then pick a date, open up the calendar and say, hey, listen, let's do a launch event. It either can be in person where you invite three or four or five or six people around the living room and you share V&I. Uh, can be at a, at a hotel lobby, it can be at a Zoom presentation, or it can even be a conference call. But schedule a launch event where you where your new partner invites, the more the merrier, but you maybe set a goal. If you want five guests, then you need 10 commitments because you're going to have a 50% no-show. So you set a target. Let's have five or eight or 10, 10 people in a room at your house. That's old school, which is okay. It still works. Or at a hotel lobby or restaurant, or coffee shop, or conference call, or a Zoom event, where everybody can do it from their own couch and their own sofa, and, and, you, and you present the VNI products and business, and you can use the PowerPoint, you know, that's why it's the PowerPoint's in your, in your partner site under the news feed, you can get, use that same PowerPoint, that's one of the marketing tools that you want to make sure your new partners know. Um, I love Gina and Ed. They have it printed out. They have, and then some of their top leaders all have it printed out, that PowerPoint. So they can use it as a teaching and training tool. They can use it to share the products or one product, depending on how the conversation's going. It's all right there, folks. It's all right there. So um, scheduling a launch event, uh, particularly, you know, within, you know, what, I, what I've done in the past is I've scheduled two launch events for every, pardon me, I had something fall over. Um, two launch events during the first two weeks a partner comes on board. And then when they have new partners come on board, we schedule two launch events within their first two weeks. And you can create some wonderful excitement and momentum by that simple activity. And then number seven, this is in conclusion. Number seven, folks, keep it simple. Have fun. Enjoy the journey. This is on the checklist, <laughs> literally. Have fun. Enjoy the journey recognize it's about progress, not perfection, right? It's about progress, not perfection. It's about getting a little bit better today than yesterday. You're never going to be perfect. None of us are. Goodness gracious, my internet crashed today. I mean, there's like, you know, we're, John Maxwell calls it failing forward. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to stub your toe. Don't be afraid to, to, to you know, to, to, to blow it, so to speak. You can't blow it. It's all good. I mean, we're, we're blessing people with these products. The company's not going to let you down. Your upline leadership team is not going to let you down. They're there. These men and women are committed to your success, just like we want you to be committed to your partner's success. But you got to have a plan. So the art of the start requires that you have a plan. When you have a new partner join your team, the art of the start says, you know what? I've got to have an onboarding strategy. And this checklist is, is, is a recommended checklist, but candidly, you don't have to be married to any of these fundamentals. These are just what have worked for me in the past, but get with your upline success coach, create a, a blueprint 
and then execute on that blueprint every single time you have a new partner so that they joins your team. So you're setting them up for success. All right. I hope this has been helpful. Um, send me a chat. If there's any real quick, we're going to do something. Send me a chat. If there's a question, anything we didn't cover. Um, I think we're good to go. I've gotten some text messages. I think this has been beneficial. Uh, let me look real quick and see who all's plugged in. Awesome. Great. Well, listen, folks, I hope this was helpful. Create a new partner checklist, uh, teach and train your team to do the same thing and uh, you'll grow faster. You'll grow faster. So have an awesome Saturday and a super weekend. We'll talk soon. God bless. Bye-bye.